Planning a destination wedding comes with some great advantages as well as a few challenges. Uh, we're here with Kathy Davies from Kathy Davies Photography who is recently married, uh, had a destination wedding, and we're gonna talk about that right now. Hey everyone, John here from Epic Motion and we are here with Kathy Davies from Kathy Davies Photography. Is that how you say your yes. official business name? <laughs> Kathy, you just got married. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. How was the wedding? It was awesome. I want to do it all over again. So let's 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 take a gander at your wedding. Yeah. Here. Uh, so tell us tell us where you got married. Um, I got married in Yosemite in California. This was like destination wedding for mm -hmm. you and your guests, right? Mm -hmm. Why Yosemite? I... Why not Troy, Michigan? <laughs> I mean, this is like Troy's beautiful. tropical capital of the world. <laughs> yeah. There's but... a Huntington Bank around the corner. <laughs> yeah. You didn't want to do your photo session there? No. <laughs> um, well, like for me, I'm a photographer, so lighting is everything and there's nothing better than natural light and all my cousins make fun of me because I'm a natural light photographer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I, what's funny is our wedding was published on Green Wedding Shoes, which is my favorite wedding blog. And I actually had the idea to get married in Yosemite from that blog. Cause cool. I was like researching places and I want, I knew I wanted to get married in California. Yeah. And the funny thing is actually that we wanted to get married there, but like some people weren't happy that we're doing, we were doing it so far away. So we were torn. Would you like to list those people by name? No. <laughs> uh, we were torn where to do it. And one night we were like, let's just flip a coin. So we flipped a coin and it landed on California and we were both like relieved. So that kind of showed us that we really did want it there. What were, were there any challenges in planning a destination wedding? Yeah, it was really hard because my venue that I picked wasn't even built yet which is kind of crazy. I actually didn't know what the reception room would look like. It was finished two weeks before our wedding. Oh so gosh. planning it far away and then I'm like a visual person and I like to plan everything. It was really, really hard. And I'm usually a go with the flow person, but when it got you know closer and closer, I was starting to get worried because I had no clue what it was gonna look like. And then another thing is since I'm a wedding vendor myself, that was really, really important to me to have good vendors because that you want people you can trust and all this. In Michigan, I know a ton of good vendors that I would trust and they do an amazing job. And, but in California, it was a little harder, plus in Yosemite because it's out in the middle of nowhere. So it's like three hours or like two hours pretty much from anything at all. Did you fly anyone out? Did you, was there anyone local that you, that you brought out there? Um, my photographer, I wish I could have flown out more people, but yeah. Know. I'm not rich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are some advantages to uh, having a destination wedding in terms of like how the wedding feels? Yeah. Like you've got, I know there was a couple weddings that you did where you told me earlier that you just really loved like mm -hmm. the way that they looked and just the whole ambiance and. Yeah. I, I guess I'm a fan of like smaller, more intimate weddings. And one of the reasons I wanted to do mine out West also was because I've been at a million weddings and a lot of people always are sad because they can't really spend time with their guests because there's always a bunch of them and it's already a crazy busy day. So it's hard. So did you like in, in having it out in California, did, were you able um, to spend time with people outside of the wedding? Is that what you're saying? Like, yeah. Like yeah. the day so, before, like people yeah. are just hanging. Yeah. So the night before we had like a little drinks by the pool thing and there was a live band playing. It was awesome. My my wedding venue ended up being like so perfect. So you have some pictures on your website of this really gorgeous Cape Cod wedding. Mm -hmm. Tell us why that wedding is awesome. Um, I really like that wedding because it was, you know, a smaller, more intimate wedding as well. They actually did a sunrise ceremony. Ooh. So it was at like 7.30 in the morning. Oh my gosh. Cause they did the same thing. They had their guests come, you know, they were all coming from Michigan and they all stayed in this big house with a huge pool, like for the weekend. So it was kind of cool. Uh, and then, so we did the sunrise ceremony and it was kind of on this cliff with all this fog. And it was just so special because it was the closest people to them. And as a photographer, it's easier for me to document things when it's less crazy. 
so pretty much it was the ceremony and then we just got to take pictures all over this awesome place which that's, cool. that's a photographer's dream yeah having a lot of time and um beautiful you know, scenery and, yeah you know yeah you don't have to like force any go find like a pretty wall or something it's just right. like all right there yeah the, the destination stuff that that we've done and i'm sure you experience this this too it's like it's so much more relaxed because mm -hmm. like you, yeah you're there anyways all mm -hmm. your vendors are there right you know, especially your photographer and, and, and your videographer uh you know we don't we us on the video side it's like we don't have anywhere else to go right it's like either either do something really cool creative the night before or whatever or yeah. grab a beer somewhere right <laughs> and we'll probably do both yeah you know <laughs> so and um, i just know that like the person documenting it would love those pictures just as much as you would especially if they're from out of town i feel like if someone lives there and it's not as new to them and so they wouldn't really you know yeah like care as much but like if you fly another photographer to that destination they'd be just as excited about it as and inspired and want to get as many awesome photos as possible yeah absolutely yeah so i would say you th that's a good benefit to a destination wedding just getting more uh more out of your vendors mm -hmm. because they're gonna yeah. be they're gonna be really excited so having having been on the other side of of getting married now uh mm -hmm. what advice would you give to the brides and grooms out there that are planning a destination by themselves or at least considering it I think that you should do what you want because if it were up to other people, I wouldn't have done that and it was totally worth it in my dream. Uh, and I think a lot of people would probably want a destination wedding, but they don't do it for that very reason. And then they end up regretting it later. I think when I first got engaged, I asked what people's biggest regrets were and most people said that they wish they would have done something smaller in, in like an awesome location and made it into a vacation. And I guess I see my brides and I don't realize, I know everyone says it's the best day, but it really is. And like for me and James to be in Yosemite in our favorite place and to have all of our, you know, the most important people there with us, it was like the coolest feeling ever. It was fun. I'll awesome. Back. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of Kathy's work, you can head over to kathydaviesphotography.com. I'll put a link in the description. As always, we're at epicmotion.com for wedding video type stuff. If you want to see more stuff like this, you can hit subscribe and we will see you next time.